Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, FIoT. In today's class, we are going to learn about introduction to Arduino programming. So before getting into the concept of Arduino programming, first we need to know actually what is an Arduino. Okay. So what is an Arduino? Arduino is an open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware as well as software. Okay. So it's in development board and also it's also comes with the software um, a compiler, okay, such that we can write a program and dump the code into that particular development board, okay. So what are these Arduino boards actually? See, these Arduino boards can read inputs like a data from a sensor, like a light on a sensor, a finger on a button or a, some sort of messages, okay. So we can also activate a motor turn an LED on and off, okay, or publishing something online. So all these Arduino development boards can take inputs or read inputs and also give the respective outputs based on the program written and dumped or uploaded into that particular controller, okay. Now, the main advantage of Arduino is it also simplifies the process of working with controller. Okay. So it's an open source with extensible software. So Arduino software is also published as an open source tools. It is easily available in the internet free of cost. Okay. So, and uh, it can be also extendable by the experienced programmers. Okay. So not only that, it can be also a open source as well as extensible hardware, okay. So these Arduino boards can be uh, coming in several uh, uh, varieties, designs and versions as well, okay. So in uh, what whoever the programmers or the designers are, can, they can easily play with this particular Arduino development board with respect to the hardware, okay. And inexpensive, they are very much uh, less in cost compared to uh, Raspberry Pis or some sort of uh, development boards, okay. So coming to the platforms, they can easily, these Arduino softwares can easily run on Windows, Mac, Linux operating systems, okay? But whereas coming to another 8051 or some other microcontrollers, they are just limited to the Windows, okay? So Arduino software or the development board hardware, both are very, very easy to use and also very much famous for developing various applications. So if you're coming to see the features of Arduino, okay, this is what the Arduino, okay, one type of Arduino, what we see over here, it's a, basically a development board on which there is a uh, microcontroller on it, okay. So, open source, it is an open source based electronic programmable board, okay, which has a uh, microcontroller on it along with the software, okay. So, it comes in two, one is Arduino hardware, that is the development board which comes with a microcontroller, Another one is a software, okay, in which we write the program, okay, compile it and upload it to this particular board, okay. So it also accepts all the analog as well as digital signals as inputs and uh, gives the respective uh, output, okay. And no extra hardware is required to load a program into the controller board directly by plugging that Arduino board uh, to a laptop using a cable, okay. So D type to USB cable, okay. We can easily upload the code into this particular Arduino. So these are some of the different types of Arduino boards and their features. If you see Arduino, you know, comes with 16 megahertz um, and uh, as well as a controller like at mega 328. It has a memory like 2, 2 KB of SRAM and 32 KB of flash. It will be having 14 digital pins and six analog pins, okay. Coming to Arduino Duo, we have 84 megahertz frequency. Uh, it comes with an 8091SAM3x80. Okay, uh, type of controller, it will be having a 96 KB SRAM as well as 512 KB flash. It comes with 54 digital IO pins as well as 12 analog pins and two outputs. Okay, and Arduino Mega is one of the biggest uh, Arduino load development board, which will be having a frequency works with a frequency of 16 megahertz and it will be having a controller called at mega 2560 and it comes with a memory 8 KB SRAM as well as 256 KB flash and it will be having digital IO pins of 54 and comes with 16 input analog as well as zero output pins okay 
coming to the Arduino Leonardo, it comes with again a clock frequency of 16 megahertz with a controller called Atmega 32U4. And it has a memory like 2.5 KB SRAM as well as 32 KB flash and comes with 20 digital LIGO pins and 12 analog uh, pins. Okay. So if you see the different types of Arduino boards, these are some of the Arduino boards. There are a lot many varieties of Arduino boards. Okay. So Arduino Yun, Arduino Robot, Arduino Mega, Arduino Du, Arduino Leonardo, Arduino Mini, Arduino Ethernet, Arduino Explorer. Arduino Nano, Arduino GSM Shield, Arduino Ethernet Shield, Arduino um, FIO. Okay, these all are different types of Arduino development boards with has an inbuilt uh, or an onboard microcontroller and very much easy to use and comes with several several varieties of features like an inbuilt GSM, inbuilt Wi-Fi or a small in size board or whatnot. It comes with varieties of features and very fancy in order to designing various type of applications okay so actually if you take a single Arduino board okay so the most famous and most usable Arduino uh, variety is Arduino Uno okay so this Arduino Uno comes with a microcontroller let me explain you like this so this is the whole Arduino development board it comes with a microcontroller at mega 328p okay so this is a microcontroller onboard onto the Arduino Uno. And if you see over here, this whole Arduino boards, okay, we have several sections, okay. This is the digital pin section, as well as this is the power section, and this is the analog pin section, okay. If you carefully observe, the analog pins, what we have for an Arduino Uno is A0 to A5 total, six analog pins. And the power section, if you observe, it starts from V in. Vin is nothing but the voltage input. Okay, suppose you want to power up the Arduino board. Okay, by giving a 5 volt supply to this particular Vin, okay, we can power up the Arduino board. And these are the ground pins in which the negative terminal of the battery or the power supply can be connected. And this is the 5 volts pin. Suppose you want to give a power supply to a sensor or some other electronic devices connected to an Arduino. Using 5 volts pin, you can give supply to that particular. And uh, using 3.3 volts pin, you can also fetch 3.3 volts from the Arduino itself, okay? And these are the reset as well as IO reference. All these pins are there, okay? So the bottom part is the six analog pins and the above part is the power section. And coming to the other side, we have total 14 pins, okay? In which... 0 and 1 are considered as the serial communication pin. 0 and zero is the receiving pin and 1 is the transmission pin. Remaining all, pin number 2 to pin number 13. Okay, remaining all these pins are considered as the digital pins. Okay, so if you see over here, few pin numbers are having a wave kind of symbol. Okay, which are nothing but considered as the pulse with modulation symbols. Okay, and the remaining pins, we also have a ground over here. And this socket, this is the, uh, this socket, what you see over here, it's an uh, D type to USB connector through which you can also connect to a computer, PC or a laptop. Okay. And you can also power up this particular Arduino board through that particular cable. Not only that, the main purpose of using this particular socket is to you can upload or dump the program into the set mega 328 connected to a PC or laptop. Okay. Now, this button over here is considered as the reset button. Okay. So once you pre press that particular reset switch, it gets reset on its own. Okay. And this is the power uh, adapter socket where you can give 9 to 12 volts power supply. And these are the regulators. And the power supply attached with some capacitors, okay, such that the board takes only the 5 volts of supply, even you give more than 5 volts, okay. And you can see a crystal oscillator over there, which is of 16 megahertz of crystal oscillator, okay. And uh, we have small, small, uh, uh, this L is the LED, which is internally connected to the 13th pin. We can see the status of transmission and reception through these particular LEDs and we can see several capacitors, transistors, as well as uh, 
resistors and all those components are considered okay so on the whole okay and these are the ic sp pins okay so used for several processes okay so on the whole the main important pins what you need to consider is the uh, reset pin over here reset pin over here in order to if at all you want to reset and the cable to which pc and this particular board is connected this is the socket for which and the adapter where we can provide power supply external power supply if needed okay and this is the whole power supply circuit where the supply is connected uh, converted into the 5 volts and we have a power supply socket if at all you want to give instead of giving it through a, an adapter if at all you want to give power supply through a battery through using some sort of wires you can use v in as well as ground and remaining pins are used to fetch power supply from this arduino board okay and we have a six analog pins and remaining all are the digital pins from 0 and 1 are used for transmission and reception these are the main pins where we need to concentrate in order to start programming with the arduino board okay so this is the basic arduino board which is very much popular which is considered as the arduino you know on which there is an onboard microcontroller which is considered as an atmega 328p okay and coming to this particular Arduino you know, board, the operating voltage is 5 volts and the recommended input voltage range is from 7 volts to 12 volts. And the input voltage ranges also can be given from 6 volts to 20 volts. But mostly what we prefer is like an 9 volts battery or a 12 volts adapter or a, um, a battery or an uh, um, 5 volts operating voltage. Okay. So we have, as I've already said, we have 14 uh input and uh, digital io pins okay and we have six analog pins and the dc current for the input and output will be occurring around 40 milliamps okay and uh, we have also a dc current of 3.3 volts as i've already shown you right and the flash memory what we have is 32 kb sram is 2 kb eprom is 1 kb and the clock speed what we use is an 16 megahertz crystal oscillator prop okay so these are the features of arduino you know okay so in the further sessions, this is one of the part for an introduction to Arduino programming where we are just introducing the Arduino okay, and the types as well as features. In the coming session, I will be practically showing how to use this particular Arduino board, okay, how to use the Arduino software as well as how to interface the PC or a laptop to the Arduino board okay, and how to program it. And, how to upload the code and i will be also showing small small experiments how to use this particular uh, arduino uh, board for uh, programming as well as developing small small projects okay thank you